boring, dull, awful, too narrow, no overtaking possibilities. There has been much negative feedback in the wake of F1's recent reveal of the Jeddah street circuit in Saudi Arabia. But is it really that bad? Is it as cheesy as its name? Is it, in a word, a fail? The hate has been great for Jeddah, with the criticism also revolving around the political and ethical aspects of having a GP in Saudi Arabia. As legit and valid as they may be, my little review will only deal with the sportive aspects though, and these are the track and the cars. So what about them? Also, I wasn't very much impressed by the reveal footage. But watching a video is one thing. Laying your hands down on it is something else. And this is what I wanted to do. So I turned on Assetto Corsa, picked the RSS Formula Hybrid 2020 with some 2021 liveries from race department and went on the brand new Jetta track done by Tyrone. Many kudos to you to do some laps with and without the AI. To begin with, let's face some of the more obvious questions. Is Jeddah fast? Yes. Is it narrow? Mm, good question. Tyrone's version at least is not, no. The official F1 footage, however, showed a much narrower track. Is Jeddah difficult? No, not really. Is it boring? Well, if so, then only partly. Is it the worst track on the F1 calendar? No, I don't think so. Though it is pretty wide, even Tyrone's rendition does not offer many overtaking possibilities. If it wasn't for the sometimes strange line the AI takes, it would indeed be really difficult to get by. Yet, I wasn't able to use DRS, so I cannot say if the straights are long enough for overtaking maneuvers. As a matter of fact, Jetta is not very challenging, but I think it offers quite a good flow of mid to high speed sweepers where your line actually matters and where track limits could come into play. Especially turns 16 and 17 require a perfect line and setup. As you have to slow down your car going from T16 to 17 and then be careful about the inner curb of T17 which can easily unsettle the car. I also liked breaking into the two hairpins because again line and apex matter though compared to say La Source at Spa they are not really slow. In general, I find Jeddah too generic and a little bland. I miss noticeable spots or unique corners, and in total the track may well be more demanding. But this is just my personal opinion, which I derive from watching the official F1 footage and laying a set of Corsa for about two hours. So let's just be patient. And in the meantime, please tell me. What are your thoughts about the track? If you ask me now, is the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix going to be a blast or the most boring race of the whole F1 season with cars lining up like a string of pearls at high speed for one hour and a half? Well, honestly, I cannot say. Both scenarios seem possible Though my guess is that the latter is more likely. But remember, even at Monaco, there have been some exciting races. In real life, we will know by December. In virtual life, 
We will know more as soon as Tyrone releases another version of his cool track. Or if you buy the new F1 game by Codemasters. Until then, please stay safe, enjoy your day and let's race as one.